Okay, so we need a way of ending our game once we've kind of got all the code in it. Um, now, just before we go over that, I've just added, just to show you, um, these hash symbols as comments between each choice. Okay, All it does, really, is it helps me split up so I can see all the individual parts of my game. Okay, So you can see here, it just splits them up. Okay, It doesn't do anything else extra to the program, but it just helps me to see where certain bits start and where certain bits end. Okay, So um, that might be worth doing that on your code, just so you can see how your program split up a bit easier. Now, um, what we need to do is figure out a way of ending the game. So we either need to end the game with um, one or more lives intact, so that means we win the game and we get a certain amount of points at the end of it, or if we run out of lives, we need a way of having game over. Okay, And to do this, we're going to use something called a function. Now think of a function as a bit like a mini program inside another program. Okay, And this program will run whenever we call the function. Okay, So um, the way to use a function is you start by typing def. Okay, And I'm going to put the function at the very top okay, of my code. All right. And you can call the function, a bit like a variable, anything you like. All right, I'm going to call this function game over because it describes what happens when this program runs. Okay? And what we're going to say is if lives are less than or equal to zero. Okay? So in other words, if we get to zero lives or get beyond zero into minus lives, we want the game to end. So what I'm going to do is have a print statement saying something like name, uh, comma, and then a new string, you are out of lives. Okay. And then another print statement. Oh, actually, no, we could put it at the end. You are out of lives, game over, in caps. Okay. And then we can have another print statement just saying how many points this person got. So I'm just going to uh, steal that from here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it in. And then what we need is we now need to ma actually make the program end. Okay, we need to force the program to end. And what we can do is we can use another library. So underneath import time uh, from time import sleep, I'm just going to type import sys. Okay, and this gives us um, a few other things we can do in our program now. And I'm going to type sys.exit and then two brackets. And what this means is the game will end when it sees this line of code. Okay, so if our lives are zero or below, it will say that print statement. It will give us our score and it will exit the game, it will finish it. Okay. Now at the moment nothing will happen because unless we use this function in our program or call this function, nothing will happen with it. Okay. So anytime I want to use it, all I need to do is type in game over and then two brackets. All right. So let's have a think of our game here. I'm going to get down to choice three. Now that's the first possible time I could get zero lives because I could lose lives in the above choices, one and two. And also in choice three. So on an option where I can lose a life, I'm going to go here and just type in game over and then the two brackets. Okay. And then what that will mean is it will check when I get to this point, it will check if I've got zero or more lives. Okay. Uh, sorry, one or more lives. If I have, nothing will happen. It will just carry on. If I've got zero or less, it will run this mini program here, this function. And if you remember, the function says um, if your lives are less than zero or zero, then the game will, will end. Okay, So let's pop that bit of code in other places where I could potentially have zero lives left. Okay, So this is anywhere from choice three onwards where my lives are going to be minus one. Okay, Because if I choose the wrong option, then it will minus one my lives. Okay. Good, so let's see if this works. I'm just going to run the whole program this time, and I'm going to choose the wrong options, which should take lives away. Okay, so our first one is the old crone, okay, and we want to try running away. 
because I want to deliberately lose a life. Okay, so I've got two lives left now. Um, and if I stroke the rabbit, that will lose me another life. I've got one life left. Okay. And so we are at the night now, and here we go. So if I choose, let's have a look at the code. If I choose F, that means I'll lose another life, which should take me to zero, and then it should run this game over function. Okay, so let's see what happens. So if I press F, okay, good, there we go. So it's detected I've got no lives left, and then it's it's run our function. Okay, Bob, you are out of lives, game over, your score is zero. And that's the function up here. Okay, and it's exited the game. Okay, so you can see there, it's just given us these triangles, which means the game has, has finished. Okay, so this is called a function. It's a miniature program inside another program. So see if you can code that, test it, and check that if you run out of lives, the program ends.